it's time for another episode in my alphabet, whatever I decided to call this, I don't remember. But basically today we're gonna to be working with the letter D. So everything on my face that's going on from now on is going to be starting with the letter D. I have not prepared very well for this. I've picked up my shadows and I do have um, some highlighter and a blush. Uh, I'm not sure if the blush is necessarily going to be great, but before we get into this, today's video is also a collab video and I am collabing with my friend Bettina. She is an Australian YouTuber and if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I kind of have a thing with Australians. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I just kind of get along with them and they always just like, there's something about them just, I don't know, I just want to be their friends. <laughs> so she's awesome. Um, she does a lot of very similar content to what I do on my channel. She does a lot of first impressions and reviews. She also does a little bit of project pan like sprinkled in there. She also does the Will I Buy It series and all kinds of different stuff. So if you haven't checked out her channel, her link will be down below in my description box as well as her video. So we are both going to be doing this with the D's in our collection. So I will show you what we have to work with today. So I mean, the eyeshadows for this episode is just, it's not a hit. Let me just say that because this color story is just terrible. Like, oh my God, like I have four mattes and then Ah, just some weird shimmers. I don't know you guys. I'm not really happy about this Hopefully I do have some liners and stuff that will kind of spruce this up, which I haven't looked at that yet I probably should have done that but here we are and I want to film I do have a blush like I was saying I do have my bronzer on already But I do have a blush in the morphe 8c palette. I'm pretty sure this is um, and I have a blush here called Driven, which is like a shimmery peachy blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. I don't know exactly how that's going to like end up looking with the rest of the look that I'll be doing, but I don't know. We're just gonna put this on and see what happens. I mean, basically. I do really like the Morphe blush formula. I know I've said that many times in the past, but if you're new, you maybe haven't heard that. But I find that these blush palettes are just really, really nice. And I like the kind of shimmery formulas that they have as well. I find that they just go on very, very nicely. And they're like, they're pigmented, but they're not like super pigmented. And they just kind of leave a bit of like a glow on your face. And I really, really like that. Am I happy with this? I do also have a highlighter, but I don't have like a highlighter. I have a Dior highlighting palette. Um, I tried to look in my collection to find something that you know, I actually started with the letter D, but I really didn't have any. Honestly, my highlighting collection is just not really that big. So I thought that just, since these don't actually have any names on them and it's from Dior, I'm kind of saying that that's okay. I hope that's okay. So I think the one that I'm going to use is, what do I want to do with this look? I feel like I'm just going to kind of mix these two together. So like the gold and the white to make a bit of like a, a lighter gold because I find the gold is a little bit too dark for me. So I'm just going to kind of go ahead and do like this like I usually do with this and just apply a little bit of this highlighter. I really, really like this highlighting palette. I don't love the new one that they came out with as much because I don't know. I find it's just not really that pigmented or maybe it's just like the colors that I just don't like as much. I don't really know, but this one I absolutely love. So I think that looks okay. Now, I was going to use a new eyeshadow primer today because I got sent a package by a brand called J Beauty. Um, this is like a new brand. They also sent me some lip glosses. Um, as well as an eyeshadow palette. I don't know if I want to use this eyeshadow palette though. I thought I would just kind of show you and see if you guys really want to see this. Here's what the palette looks like. It's got like a beautiful packaging on it and then when you slide it out, here's the palette. Now my issue with this palette is that it's got a whole row of pressed glitters and I just feel bad if I were to like use this palette and then not even you know, want to dip into these because I don't like using pressed glitters on my eyes and it also looks like this middle row right here is just all kind of satiny shades whereas the top rows are all mattes. They didn't ask if they could send me this, they just sent it to me and I was like, um, okay, like I can't promise I'm going to make a video or anything like this. If you really want to see one, do let me know. If not, I think I'm probably just going to put this into a giveaway and like, I don't know. I kind of feel bad. Like I feel like I'm supposed to like try everything that brands send me, but I also... I don't know, I don't want to waste a palette just to make a video on it, you know what I mean? So I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then this eyeshadow primer, it didn't have like any instructions or anything like on the package. It doesn't even say it's an eyeshadow primer, but they said that's what they sent me. But then when I squeeze it out, it's it's almost like a clear, like a clear gel. I've never seen a consistency like this in an eyeshadow primer before. So I'm kind of wondering if this is more like a glitter glue or something. I don't know, like I'm tempted to try it. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and then 
I mean, if the shadows don't apply very well, at least we know why, right? So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and swirl a little bit in the middle of my fingers here and just kind of apply it with my finger. Now, normally I prefer my eyeshadow primers to have a base to them, so I don't know how I feel about this. Like already I'm like, I don't think I like this. I don't think I would normally use this. But we're gonna try it anyway and see what happens. Like, I don't know if this is like a glitter glue. I'm very confused by this. Cause I've never had an eyeshadow primer just that's like a clear gel. I don't know. I mean, I did put a little bit of this on my hand and like it does leave the primer kind of tacky but not like glue kind of tacky. So I don't know. I'm gonna think about what I wanna do with this palette for a little while. I really, I'm so stumped. Like the only shadow in here that makes me excited is this one because it's from Menagerie and it's from the Dragon Child palette. It's in the shade Dragon Rider. Um, I actually bought this as a single, thank God, because I have it in this now. So I do want to use that. I also have this weird shadow from ColourPop. It's called Deja Boo, and it's almost like a, I don't know, I don't know if it's a matte or a satin. Like I just, I can't figure out for the life of me what this is. So like maybe if I can get this to work in my crease, I can use this as my transition shade and then I can use the blue to kind of deepen everything up. I think kind of that's where I want to go with this. I really have no clue, you guys. Like I feel like I'm just not really happy with this color story. It's kind of boring. But I think I'm going to go ahead and try to use this as my transition shade like I was saying. And if it doesn't show up, it doesn't show up. We're going to try it anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a very, very dense small brush here. This is from Raffer. And already I can tell that the shadow is going on very strangely. This could also be the eyeshadow primer. This, this eye look might end up going to hell. We'll just see what happens. I mean, you never know, right? Until you've at least tried. See, what I should have done is I should have put my normal primer on the other side so we could compare it. But I didn't want my two eyes to become different because I do plan on filming something else after this. So I mean, i kind of hoping that this look is going to turn out okay. But this shadow isn't really going on very nicely. I mean, it's definitely got a bit of like a satiny finish to it. And I just don't like that in my crease personally. I mean, it is showing up, but the way that it's showing up and the way it's reflecting the light, I feel like it makes my eyes look more hooded. And that's, that's the reason why I don't like using shimmers in my crease. Because I'm trying to make my eyes look less hooded than they are, not more hooded, you know what I mean? So I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if it's the shadow or the primer that's like throwing this off a little bit, but hopefully in the end it will all turn out okay. So next up I'm gonna go into Dragon Rider here, which was the blue matte. And I feel like I'm gonna know right away if there's something wrong with like this eyeshadow primer because I really, really like this color. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this down and then start blending it into my crease here. I swear, Menagerie just makes the best blue eyeshadows. I don't think that anyone can say anything against that if they've tried them because they are just so so nice. And I really like how this blends into a bit of a green when it mixes with that transition shade that I put down. Okay, so I don't hate this as much now that I blend the matte into that satin shade, but I really just don't like satin shades, you guys. I know, I keep confessing my hate for satins over and over and over, and I'm sorry if you're sick of hearing about it, but I just don't like satins. So I'm pretty sure it's just the shade that I used in my crease that I don't like. It's not the eyeshadow primer. I don't know how I feel about the eyeshadow primer. I will say that it does look like the shadows are going on very nice and pigmented, but I'm gonna have to try it like side by side with my normal eyeshadow primer to really see if this is like doing anything because I mean, I already know I like the shadows, so I don't think it has really necessarily anything to do with the primer here. Man, that blue is just forever going to be one of my favorite eyeshadows. I just love that so much. What do I want to do next? I just feel like I have nothing that I can really build on top of this with. Like, I don't want to use any of these mattes here because I just think it's going to end up getting really muddy. And I think that I'm just going to go ahead and place one of these shimmers on my lid, honestly, and just make this into a very simple look. So I'm thinking I'm just going to take this shadow right here and just basically put it all over my lid. Maybe I'll put a little bit of this purple in the outer corners. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll take a little bit of this purple. This is Deliver from Sydney Grace. Yeah. And like I said, I'm just gonna put that a little bit like in the outer portion of my eye here. Just to add a bit more depth to that blue. And I feel like the shadow is going on my eyes where I still have eyeshadow primer like very, very intensely. So I'm, I'm almost wondering if this is supposed to be more of like a 
not a glitter primer, but like, I don't know, something to make like shimmers pop more than what it is I'm using it for. I don't know if it's even an eyeshadow primer. That primer is so weird. I've never had anything like that, like I was saying. So this is turning into a very summery look, not very festive at all, but that's fine. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and take that blue, I think, and I'm gonna place that like basically on the rest of my lid. And then I'm gonna take a bit of this shimmer down here and layer that kind of on top to lighten it up a bit. So this blue is from Cosmic Turtle Cosmetics. It's called Dreamcatcher. I'm gonna spray this as well. And I remember this being a really, really beautiful shadow. I think I've used this one before. I think this is the one that I did use and it's kind of like glittery. I'm just gonna place that like in the middle of my lid and kind of blending it into that purple shimmer here. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Cosmic Turtle Cosmetics shimmers are honestly so, so nice. And I feel like they're so deceptive. Like they never look on the eye like they do in a pan because when you put it on the eye, like the sparkle really comes out. And I don't know if that's the setting spray doing that or if it's just like the shadow catches the light a lot better than when you look at it in a pan because in a pan, it really doesn't look like all that much. But on the eyes, man, it's just so pretty. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same underneath my eye. I'm gonna use the same colors I used in my crease. I'm gonna use the yellow as well as the blue here. I'm still a kid, try to act like they all taught me. But nothing makes sense anymore. Man, my dislike for that yellow shadow just grows the more I use it. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this after because I freaking hate this shadow. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit more of it though and just use it to like blend out the edges in my crease here because I just feel like, I don't know, this is probably going to turn out really badly, but I just, I need a little bit of extra help to just blend everything out here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, which is probably not even going to show up because this brush is so flimsy and the shadow sucks. But let's just try it anyway and see if I can get these blends to just look nice. So I do think this is looking really, really nice though. It's not at all what I was expecting when I sat down and I looked at all of these. I was like, this is gonna end up being such a boring look. But since I haven't really used any of these, I feel like it's okay, you know? It's like, it's kind of me. So I'm gonna next go into this one. This is from Divina. I don't know the name of this one. This one is called Delirium. I think this was from the collab that Angelica did with them. I'm gonna pop a little bit of that in my inner corner. And by a little bit, I mean a lot <laughs> because I picked up so much on my brush here, which I mean, oops, but the shadow is so beautiful. I can actually do both eyes with what is on my brush right now. Oh, this is really, really pretty. This is really tying this look together, I feel like. And just as I was going through my eyeliners to <laughs> figure out what to do in my waterline, I realized that D Ben from Urban Decay starts with D, and this makes me so happy. I don't know why I'm hitting my face, but I'm gonna pop this in my waterline, do some liner and mascara, and then I'll find all the lipstick choices that I have, or maybe I'll just put on a lipstick that starts with D. I don't know, I'll probably do that, because if I don't have to go through all of them, I won't, if I can find something pretty quick. So I'm gonna finish off, and I'll be right back and show you the completed look. So this is the completed look, you guys. I think this turned out so, so fun and like very summery and not very wintry at all, but that's totally fine. Um, I was hoping for lips. I got this sent by Ofra through Octoly and I was hoping that one of these minis would start with the letter D. Unfortunately, they didn't, but I'm like, I'm just gonna review them anyway because I have them here and I wanna talk about them. So this is a mini set of four. Um, these are just beautiful. They come in four shades, Aspen, Sedona, Palo Alto, and Portland. These are just the same formula that all of the other Ofra liquid lipsticks come in and I absolutely love the liquid lipsticks from Ofra. I think they're great. They're very, very comfortable. They do dry down, but they're not like the kind of, uh, you know how when lipsticks will like crumble off your lips, like these don't do that at all. And I find that they just look really nice. It's not what I have on my lips today though. I did go with a Menagerie lipstick. This is in the shade Dorian. And then on top of that, I actually found a gloss that also started with the letter D, which now I somehow cannot find that, but it was ABH Diamond. Let me see if I can grab that. So like literally that lip gloss is just this, oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I was gonna say it disappeared from my life, but I found it. This is called Diamond. So I layered these two on top of each other and I feel like they kind of pulled out like the inner corner that I have going on here. And I felt like the cool tone went with like the eye look. So I'm really happy with how like everything kind of came together with my eyeliners and everything. So that's going to be the D letters all done. I think this could be one of my favorite looks that I've done so far. And of course, if you guys haven't already checked out the Makeup Enthusiasts channel, go ahead and do so after you're done with my video, which will be right about now. So her link will be down in my description box. Go ahead and watch her video as well. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.